Dr. Blyburn, veterinarians have so many options for heartworm testing available today. What do you think are some of the good options that we can employ? Well, you know, that's not an easy question to answer because, as you mentioned, you have so many options. You've got the patient side, in-clinic option. You've got the reference laboratory side. In other words, you can do the test yourself or you can send them out. Clearly, the antigen test is the gold standard. That's the true detection of adult worms in the heart. Mm -hmm. But the tests differ from test to test. Sensitivity, specificity, ease of use, cost, ease of conduct. And so the veterinarian has to decide, do I want to do them myself? Do I want to send them to someone else? I've always been a big fan of what we call patient side in clinic mm -hmm. because you can do them quickly. Right. In my opinion, they're just as accurate. You get a result back immediately. And if you get a positive and you feel a bit uncomfortable about it, you can always send it to a reference laboratory. But you need to ask the reference laboratories what they use and the characteristics of their test and how they perform because they're all different. So if I'm letting you know that this is a complicated area, it's because it's a complicated area. And to make it even more complicated, sometimes our tests have conflicting results and veterinarians are kind of caught in a bind. Mm -hmm. So what do we do in that instance? So a veterinarian sent me a sample that was positive. We do what's called a spectrophotometric ELISA, and that's just a big fancy word for reading the test result using a machine. Okay. And it was negative. So the veterinarian uh, was a bit unhappy with that result. You know, he anticipated something different. So he requested part of the sample back and he sent it to a reference laboratory. And the reference laboratory test was positive. Hmm. So we've got a positive in his clinic, a negative in mine, read on a spec, and we've got a positive in another laboratory. So we retained part of the sample and sent it to a second laboratory, a second reference laboratory who did two tests on it, and it came back negative in each instance. So you've got a positive in the practice, a positive at one diagnostic, a negative in our laboratory, and a negative in another laboratory. So in that instance, you have to make a decision. And I would always say, do nothing. Be conservative. Punt. You know, wait. Test later. Six months, maybe a year. There's no justification, in my opinion, for treating a dog that you have such a questionable result on. So, you have to make a decision, you know? What's the history of the, of, of the case? You're a practicing veterinarian, you deal with heartworm all the time. You know what a, what a dog looks like that presents with heartworm disease, even mild heartworm disease. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can tell. So you're better able, I think, to make a decision about whether or not it's prudent to treat based on a conflicting test result than perhaps someone who doesn't practice in a heartworm endemic area. So to answer a very complicated question in an oversimplified manner, it's a combination of analysis of test, test performance, patient side, reference laboratory, history, and your experience with heartworm.